Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time on something which is rather dry but you will have to use it in games and I think well some basic knowledge on that is required. What am I talking about? Well strings, reels and chars. If you have never heard those things before you maybe want to keep on watching. This is Wanab Indy, I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing because I upload every day a video. So let's get right into the stuff. So I have my little object here, I put it in here, this little blob guy and he is drawing something above his head. And Actually, he's not, well, let's see, draw self, so he's actually drawing himself. Completely forgot that. And what am I doing here? So basically, what I do, I just make a variable, which is just, I don't know, temporary. That's how you do temporary variables, which I just, well, one step valid and then they kind of disappear because what well, yeah, they are not being used anymore. And of course, you can do it like this, then it's blue blue um or purple or something i don't know and then well it's a variable you have to well initialize here but i'm not gonna do that so let's make a local one what i'm doing i'm just saying draw text and i'm drawing here a string so for now this is kind of basic stuff you'll be like eh it's not too important well there are some things maybe you don't know so um, I'm gonna get into that stuff. So for example, what is a string? A string is basically like a combination of chars and chars are single units. For example, that is a char, that is a char and that is a char. So basically a um, completely single unit which you cannot just break down into smaller pieces. So that is, so a string consists of a lot of chars. And this is of course one as well because well, that's an empty space. And for example, if you want to, well, do multiple strings and put them together, everything has to be strings. For example, I just write down here, and this is the next part. Next part, oh come on. And for example, if I run it, as you can see, I just store, well, in my variable, something, um, two strings, this part, this string, and this string, as you can see, I have a little space here, so it does look good. So let's check it out. And it should draw, uh, well, something like this. As you can see, well, it draws it together, which is nice. And for example, you say, ah, I want to draw, I don't know, 20. And you, well, chain it together. And how do you chain it together? With a plus sign. So if you didn't know that, now you know. And for example, if I run it like this, da -da -da, Bam, it's, it has an execution error, why? Well, it's expecting a string and that thing is not a string. What is it? It's a number and the number is, well, it's a real number and real numbers are, I don't know, um, full numbers like that or just 0 0.1 something, something, something. So for example, if you want to convert that, you have to say string and now it does work, hopefully. Yeah, it does. So as you can see, the whole stuff is working. And for example, YoYo says, if you do something like this, it will line break and it doesn't work. So I just tested it out and it doesn't. Well, but it's not too important because how can you make a line break? Well, do a little bit, uh, do a different kind of draw text, draw text, for example, color, where you have Go away, I don't need you. Let's go up here so you can actually see. And then after the string, you have this separation and the width. And those two numbers are, well, this one is first, once you have a line break, then 20 pixels below, well, the, the, the top line. And here, after, let's say, 10 pixels, do a line break and then do a line break again and again, again, depending how long the string actually is. So let's check that out and it should work. As you can see, everything is breaking here, like total XP 20, 
But for example, what does happen if you make it, let's say, 5 pixels? I can tell you from now, because I already tested it, it does not work. Why? Because, well, it's trying to do a line break, but the string is longer than 5 pixels, then it's completely impossible and then, well, it will blank out. So just keep that in mind to make your total width longer than a single word, which is a string here. So just keep that in mind. So what else is kind of interesting? Well, for example, what is possible and what is impossible. For example, if you would do something like this here, I don't know, put in a real number or a variable which is real. For example, we have this little exp and it's uh, 20. And for example, if I would run it now, it wouldn't work either because again, it's a number and it does actually work, which is interesting. I guess it's just converting and then into a string, but normally it wouldn't be working. All right, <laughs> that was a fail. And never mind. So as you can see, that works. So another thing, for example, what can you actually do with strings besides maybe chaining them together? Because that is the thing you can use, I don't know, for your GUI, you're just saying like, hey, your total health is 20 and your maximum health is like, I don't know, uh, 100 and then you can string it together to one bigger string. So that is the way. And for example, here we have some bogus string tags. You can see it is. And if you just run, um, well, string char add, it just says, all right, it goes its index positions and then at the third position, which is M, zero doesn't count in, um, it returns the string. What the, is this good for? Well, for example, if you are having, let's say, an input from the player and he just is giving in, I don't know, typing in some word, and then, well, you can just uh, select it and use it for something else. Or maybe you just, uh, well, I don't know, checking for like some really, really nasty bad words. And well, this is how you can filter them out. But eh, in my opinion, well, a lot of times I didn't use it, but this is how you can actually select things. And this is how you can select a char out. So what do I do again? I make a temporary variable, which I call result, and I just draw it above this green slimy thing. And for example, I don't know, let's put in five and check out what which the five one is five okay then you see nothing why is there nothing on the screen because the fifth position is this guy here for example if i do four four then it should be the e let's check it out and we have an e amazing i know um let's go to some other stuff i don't know maybe you're thinking like eh, that stuff is not too useful i thought that too but then i actually had to use it and uh, you actually use all those well string variables just to check some stuff so just keep in mind that and here we go another string which is the same one from before and here string length so for example if you just want to check a string length what is that good for? Well, let's say you are giving the player the option to type in some stuff, but maybe he did some copy paste and he's just writing you an essay and a little text box and maybe you don't want him to do that. So this is how you restrict it. For example, you just say at the end as a result of the string he's, he's like typing in, give it a string length. So for example, if we, well, once again, uh, assign it to the result variable, it gives you back how long that is. And empty spaces are counted in as well as one. So let's say this whole thing is 20 character. So that is the thing, for example, you can, well, use. And the last one here, you just take a number and, well, convert it into a string. Is that right? Am I telling bullshit? Uh, yeah, I am telling bullshit. So basically, with this one, you do the reverse. Um, you type in, for example, a string like this, and then you convert it into a number. Then maybe we get an error. No, we don't get an error. It does actually work. So 
this is what you do you just do the opposite you don't convert it into a string you convert it into a real but for example if you do i don't know uh, not this that shouldn't work let's check it out yep it's not, it's not a real so basically you cannot do something like that and of course uh, that was it hopefully that was um, of value to you string things are not the most well popular topics i know but you need to have some basic overview what you can do with them and sometimes they are actually valuable to use in game maker studio and well they are pretty useful in all other programming languages and that is actually a complete basic of what you're doing there and then as a caveat as a last one for example if you see stuff like this that is not a string not a real these are booleans and booleans are just true or false they are zero and one they can be like true false and this is just well um this is the boolean and this is for comparing it so for example what you can do is like it's bigger smaller is not and some other things and for example you can of course chain them together and these are like logical operations because the logic is saying you hey are you true are you not true and then just give some result and these guys well, are something else so just keep in mind you have like your reals your um your strings and then your booleans to do a lot of stuff in game makers to do and then we are actually finished here have a good one one up indie